hi children and viewers in this video i am going to explain one of the important topic in intermediate second year that's the information about the cell and what is mean by emf emf means electromotive force what is mean by electromotive force and what is mean by internal resistance what's the difference between external resistance and internal resistance children so in this video you are going to learn about the cell internal resistance and difference between internal resistance and external resistance and what is mean by emf children this topic is important for two marks and four marks also so that's why you have to watch the video very carefully okay children first thing is what is a cell generally we can use the similar words cell battery in circuits generally we can show this like this battery clear so when we can call that is battery when we can call that is cell let us check cell is nothing but it is the device that should be used to the st send steady current in the circuit a simple device that can be used to send the a constant amount of current through the circuit is called a cell nothing but here we have another definition also in general we can say that the device which can converts chemical energy into electrical energy that should be called a cell clear children in our textbook one diagram it is there that should be on the board look here generally here this is the cell the cell consists of two electrodes this is the first electrode and this is the second electrode clear the cell consists of two electrodes one is positive next one is negative these two cells are these two electrodes sorry these two electrodes are immersed in electrolyte electrolyte is nothing but it's a chemical solution a cell can cell consists of two electrodes and those two electrodes must be immersed in the electrolyte clear so when it is immersed in the electrolytes in that one should be taken as positive and one should be taken as negative here in this diagram p this p is the positive and this n is the negative clear children up to here electrolyte will send charges to the opposite sides that means here simply in between in between here two electrodes there is exchange of charges exchange of charges while there is some exchange of charges between the electrodes then there is possibility for the moving of current in the circuit moving the current in the circuit clear children got my point here a cell consists of two electrodes then simply to understand very clearly here i am simply showing like this it is the one vessel in that just be having some electrolyte is there and we are taking some here two rods are we are taken these two elect these two rods should be called as electrodes here in between these two electrodes there is some exchange of charges the opposite charges are moving in opposite directions so the exchange of charges should be takes place between the two rods then here there is some potential is created for example here at this point a at this point a due to the exchange of charges between the two electrodes at the point a the potential is i am saying that there is here v plus that is the v plus potential at the point a that should be here belongs to this electrode and here at this point b at this point b here now this is the minus v v minus the potential at a should be taken as v plus we are not at anything is that is positive clear v plus and the potential at the point b is taken as minus what do you say that is minus clear 
So here v plus must be greater than this 0 and v minus also greater than this 0. v plus v positive is the higher potential. v minus is the lower potential. Lower potential. Clear. When the battery or the cell is ready to supply the charges, here we have to say that there is some difference in the potentials that is here we are saying. So then minus of plus, minus of minus plus, V plus plus V minus. Clear. When for this positive we are having at the point A, the potential is plus V plus that should be greater than the 0. At the point B, also potential is there. This is a minus V. That means simply V plus is the higher potential and V minus is the lower potential. And these two values are must be more than the 0. And in that circuit, we are taking some external resistance. What's that? External resistance. When we are taking some external resistance, here simply, if it is having infinite value, infinite value, infinite value that means there is no current in the circuit this seems to be like here open circuit in a open circuit there is no possibility for moving of current like that when the r value is very very high infinity value then there is no power supply at that situation and when the battery is open or if it is a open circuit then here the potential at a is v plus at this point B is V minus. Clear? So A is having some positive rod is having some potential and this negative also having here P means positive N means negative. Clear children? P and this is the N. So here while they are having individual potentials, individual potentials under there is no current in the circuit that it should be possible when the resistance value is very high there should be infinity and when the circuit is open under these conditions here there is some difference in the potentials we will write that is here v potential difference here i am writing potential difference what v plus of minus v minus now v plus of minus minus what do we get v plus and v minus that potential is called here EMF. What's that? EMF. Here we'll write V plus plus V minus is equals to epsilon. That should be called here EMF. EMF is nothing but electromotive force. Electromotive force. So in our later we discuss very clearly. So this is children. The textbook example, what it is in your textbook, it is like this. So in this diagram, you have to observe the current. If the current is moving, the current is moving here in this direction. So that should be moving from P to N through the resistance R. Clear. So here it is to complete the circuit here. Like for example, it is started from P. It is moving like this and these two are the electrodes. So when the current is passes through the N to P, N to P, then only now the circuit is closed or it is open, clear. That means here inside the cell also there is necessity to move the charge, clear. In this diagram. The current is moving from here P to N. It is the external circuit. Here when the cell is connected in between the plates or in between the two electrodes what we have? Electrolyte is also there. Electrolyte it is there. The electrolyte should be having some resistance that is called internal resistance. Internal resistance. So children while if you want to say the uh, Current is moved through the complete circuit here, then the charge must be moved through the electrolyte also. For that, the cell must be do some work. That work is called EMF. What's that? EMF. 
the amount of work done by the cell to move the charge from lower potential to the higher potential what i told you here we can observe in that circuit in that circuit the current is moving from p to n p to n but inside the cell inside the cell the charge must be moved the current must be moved from n to p n to p what i told you n n is the negative negative means what is lower potential what is that lower potential and here now it is the higher potential so it is now here higher potential inside the cell the current is moving from lower potential to the higher potential to do that the cell must be do some work that work is called electromotive force the amount of work done to move the charge in a closed circuit from lower potential to the higher potential lower potential to the higher potential that should be called electromotive force electromotive force clear inside a cell to move the charge actually what is the direction of current higher potential to the lower potential i already told you according to the conventional current the current is always move from higher potential to the lower potential to move the lower to move the charge from lower potential to the higher potential the work must be required the work must be required so the amount of force what we call here electromotive force the amount of work is called electromotive force actually electromotive force is not a force but it is the doing some work to move the charge from lower potential to the higher potential got my point children and while the charge is moving from lower potential to the higher potential the charge is moving through this electrolyte moving through the electrolyte electrolyte is nothing but a solution clear while the charge is moving through the solution then also there is some resistance offered by the electrolyte what it is in between the electrodes starting i told you what's the electrodes are immersed in the electrolyte that means while the charge is moving from lower potential to the higher potential the electrolyte which is between the two electrodes that will apply some opposition that should be called internal resistance what is that internal resistance so this is children simply about the cell emf and internal resistance according to your textbook but you need some additional information also there so before going to that yes i will remain once once again here children we are taking some a cell what is a cell the cell is nothing but which can converts chemical energy into electrical energy that should be called a cell clear the cell consists of two electrodes one is positive and one should be negative these two are immersed into the any electrolyte particular electrolyte in between the electrolytes the charges are going to be interchange the charges are going to be interchange after that one will gains the positive charge and one will gains the negative charge at positive we are having some potential v plus that is the higher potential it should be greater than the zero at negative the potential is here minus v v minus it is a lower potential but both are equal to the more than the zero clear and after that when there is no current in the circuit because of high resistance value this is the external resistance external resistance so here when there is no current what i have to say there is some potential difference between these two then should be here v plus of minus of v minus that's what we call v plus of plus v minus and that is equals to emf generally emf electromotive force is also called as terminal voltage what's that terminal voltage when there is no current in the circuit when there is no current in the circuit and the potential is called terminal voltage when there is no current in the circuit or if the circuit is open then the potential of the cell is nothing but its emf clear when there is no current in the circuit or if the circuit is open then the potential of the cell or battery is nothing but called electromotive force v is equals to epsilon that value is here this is emf 
Clear children? Okay. While the current is moving from higher potential to the lower potential, there is necessity to move the charge from lower potential to the higher potential. To do that, we have to do some work. That work is called EMF, electromotive force. And while the charge is moving from lower potential to the higher potential, the electrolyte will offer some opposition. That should be called internal resistance. Okay, children. Next thing here, you have to know about the VM, how the EMF value will be changes when there is a current in the circuit and here you have to know about the types of cells also so children you need some additional information also along with the definitions you must know about some concept children so all I told you what is that cell it is the device that should be converts chemical energy into electrical energy that should be called cell or a, a, a simple device that will send the constant amount of current through the throughout the circuit that should be called a cell so children generally here we are having two type of cells primary cells and secondary cells primary cells means here they are only discharge primary cells the primary cell, cell must be having some again plus and minus they have some plus and minus so clear discharging primary cell means that should be converts only chemical energy into the electrical energy best example for that voltaic cells like chain cells and daniel cells so in our daily life the batteries what we are using the wall clock watches Simply, best example for dry cells, simply what we are taking the torch lights and uh, wall clocks. Once we can use, it is again not rechargeable. Once the charge water is stored in form of a chemical energy, that should be used by us. Once again, it is not reversible. It is the irreversible. That is what we call primary cell. Primary cell only can charge. Once you can charge the for example, we are using a battery in a wall clock. It is after up to one or month or two months. After that, it should be over. Again, it is not replaced. Again, it is not should be used. Clear? That type of cell is called here primary cell. For that, examples are voltaic cell and Leclanc cell and Daniel cells. And next thing is here secondary cell. Secondary cell is that should be use basic example for that the cells which are used in the power bank the cells which are used in the power bank those should be example for the secondary cells so for example for that nickel iron nickel iron cells are the basic example for secondary cells so how we can what is the use of power bank in power bank, power bank some cells are there power bank some cells are there when first we have to charge the power bank that means we are for example here this is the power bank so already we purchased and initially what you have to give some plug it is there first we have to charge the power bank in the power bank there are number of cells are there number of cells are there Clear? First we have to charge. First we have to charge. That means what? We are sending them electric energy. We are sending, we are giving electric energy. Now it is stored in form of chemical energy. We are giving electrical energy. That should be stored in form of chemical energy. So after completion of charging, now this power bank is given to, we are removing this and given to some cell phone. Now what I have to say, already we send some electric energy, that electric energy is stored in form of chemical energy. When it is given to some mobile, what you observed, again the chemical energy is converted into electric energy that should be sent to the mobile. Then the mobile will get some charge. That type of cells are called secondary cells. So discharging is takes place, at the same time they should be again chargeable. 
that type of cells are called secondary cells and example for that nickel and iron combination and i told you one thing what's the what is the difference between a cell and battery a cell and battery here both are same but here if you want to say the battery battery is nothing but combination of number of primary cells combination of number of primary cells when we are saying battery means that means that can say of more number of cells that's the difference both are doing same thing the aim the functioning of cell and battery both should be same that is what chemical energy must be converted to the electrical energy but when we are using the combination of cells that should be called battery that should be called battery and the combination should be taken as a single unit not individual so the combination of cells what they are used they should be taken as a one single unit that's the difference here between cell and battery clear children and next thing here emf so children told you now up to now what is that EF, EM, emf means what electro motive force electromotive force here actually it is not a force it is not a force actually it is a potential but according to as for historical information that should be taken as electromotive force like a force clear but it is not a force actually so children here what i told you to understand simply i am drawing one simple diagram here it is the one external resistance in the circuit and that should be given to one cell like battery clear emf the amount actually what you have to say this is the higher potential and this is the lower potential we will say this is plus and this is a minus the amount of current is passes from here generally i am saying a b current is moving from a to b so that means what higher potential to the lower potential higher potential to the lower potential so children but inside the cell inside the cell so this is the higher potential and this is the lower potential so here there is some electrolyte electrolyte is between these two the amount of work done to move the charge from here b to a what is that b to a we have to send the yes we have to do some work the cell must be do some work to move the charge from b to a b means what lower potential and this is what higher potential that is called emf emf what i told you children while the charge is moving from lower potential to the higher potential there is some opposition shown by the electrolyte electrolyte that should be what we call internal resistance what we call internal resistance so that means simply children in a cell electrolyte is there in between the electrodes that's why every cell consists of some internal resistance every cell consists of some inter internal resistance so generally in circuits we will show like this this is the small r and this is the capital r clear small r means what internal resistance small r is the internal resistance and capital r is the external resistance external resistance so here the r value is fixed here but here r value should be different based upon the electrolyte based upon the electrolyte in this case i am saying now here r is inversely proportional to 1 by a a means what area of the plates and r is proportional to d internal resistance is directly proportional to the distance between two plates distance between two plates and r is proportional to c r is proportional to c that means the concentration what you have the concentration r is proportional to 1 by a and r is proportional to d and r is proportional to c 
so in this way the r value should be depends on different factors so this is about the children emf external resistance and internal resistance children you have to observe now here i am right children here we know that what is that here i am saying that emf is not a force emf is a not a force so emf is nothing but what i am saying potential emf is nothing but potential epsilon is equals to v clear children so that's why here i am writing epsilon is equals to d w by dq clear epsilon is equals to d w by dq so from that what we children epsilon into dq is equals to dw epsilon into dq is equals to dw that's what children here for our convenient we are dividing on both sides with dt epsilon is to go dq by dt is equals to dw by dt children in this case the amount of work done to move the from charge from lower potential to the higher potential will take epsilon is equals to dw by dq so from that what right dw is equals what right epsilon into dq then epsilon into dq by epsilon into dq is equals to dw we are differentiating on both sides with respect of time that's why here epsilon into dq by dt is equals to dw by dt so children here dq by dt means what current i is equals to what dq by dt and children work by time what it is called power p is equals to dw by dt okay children now we can write but i is equals to dq by dt and p is equals to dw by dt then what you have write children epsilon into what is dq by dt i e into epsilon into i is equals to dw by dt means what power then what right p is equals to epsilon i p is equals to epsilon i so children then from that i am taking i is equals to 1 ampere then what right p is equals to epsilon p is equals to epsilon so from that we have another definition for emf okay children what's that p is equals to epsilon i i means what current that should be taken as 1 ampere then what right p is equals to epsilon that means the emf the emf of a cell is equals to the power of the cell when 1 ampere current is passing through the circuit when 1 ampere current is passes through the circuit okay children so p is equals to epsilon i and i is equals to 1 ampere then p is equals to epsilon that means the power of the cell is numerically equals to the emf of the cell okay children this is the information about the emf clear children and next thing here children i told you what's the when there is no current no current in the circuit no current in the circuit or if circuit is open if circuit is open what you have to say v is equals to epsilon v is equals to epsilon when there is no current in the circuit then the potential of this cell is called as terminal voltage terminal voltage clear that should be nothing but epsilon emf clear when there is no current in the circuit if the circuit is open the potential is nothing but here terminal voltage and that emf is, that is equal to the emf so that means terminal voltage terminal voltage is equal to emf clear children but when the current is passes through the when the current is passes through the circuit we will write v is equals to epsilon minus ir 
V is equals to epsilon minus IR. That means when there is no current in the circuit, what do write? V is equals to epsilon. That means here, when the current is passes through the circuit, what do you have to say? The EMF value is decreases. The EMF value is decreases. Clear children. So don't forget about this one. From that, what do you write here? V is equals to epsilon and V is equals to epsilon minus IR. From that, what do you write? Epsilon is equals to V plus IR. V plus IR. According to Ohm's law, what do you write? Epsilon is equals to, according to Ohm's law, what do you write? V is equals to IR. IR plus IR. Children, here R is the capillary is external resistance and small r is the internal resistance. The same current, the I amount of current is passes through the external resistance and internal resistance also. From that water children, epsilon is equal to I into R plus R and I is equal to what right? Epsilon by R plus R. This is the children, the amount of current in the circuit while it is having some internal resistance and external resistance. So children very simple. When there is no current in the circuit, what do you say? Terminal voltage is equal to EMF. When the current is supplying in the circuit, what do you take? V is equal to epsilon minus IR. From that, what do you take? Epsilon is equal to V plus IR. V plus IR. But according to Ohm's law, what do you write? V is equal to IR. Ohm's law. IR. That's why epsilon is equal to I into R plus R. Then I is equal to epsilon by R plus R. This is the amount of current is passes through the in the given circuit. Okay, children. So this is about the cell internal resistance and EMF. Simply have to remember what is cell. Cell is the device that should be sends the constant amount of current in the circuit, or it is the device that should be converts chemical energy into the electrical energy clear again here when we are taken as number of cells as a combination and in that should be taken as a single unit that is called battery and what is the emf the amount of work done to send the charge from lower potential to the higher potential is called electromotive force emf emf and potential both are having same units both are having same units Actually, electromotive force is not a force, it is a potential. Okay, and what is the internal resistance? The resistance offered by the or the opposition offered by the electrolyte when the current is passes through the electrolyte. That should be called internal resistance. Internal resistance is available on only inside the cell. Internal resistance available in inside the cell only. But in circuits, we will show separately. That means the battery also consists of some resistance. That's the meaning. And this is the external resistance. External resistance. Okay, children. When we have like that combination, we'll say that this is the terminal voltage EMF when there is no current. And when the current is passing through that, the EMF should be written as like this. V plus IR. And the current should be I is equal to epsilon by R plus R. So, children, I hope you understand. So we will meet in the next video with some other interesting topic. Bye. Take care.